Kentucky Sports Radio on Talk Radio 1080. Welcome back, Kentucky Sports Radio here live at Media Day at Commonwealth Stadium. And uh, we're now joined by the UK football coach, Joe Phillips. Joker, great to see you. Great to see you guys. It was great to you giving Ryan Lemon a hard time saying uh, he was, his Twitter account was suspended for 15 days. But that's coming from you've told all your players no tweeting for 15 days. Why'd you do that? Well, I have not met with the varsity guys. I've met with the freshmen. Uh, so they understand. We will have a meeting later on tonight, um, and uh, it will be off limits to our varsity guys. Also, um, I just think we just got way too much work to to, to get done. Um, our days go from seven to eleven. There's very few minutes in in the day to um, uh, to tweet. So before school all. starts, give me the day of an average player. Like what what are they doing? Ah, well, we're up at seven. Um, they got to eat from uh, eight to. Nine, nine. They got meetings. Um, Going into the season this year, after the finish last year, tell me what is a reasonable goal for this team this season? Well, I mean, the goal is to uh, make sure we are continue to get better every week. You know, we put a, um, a more productive product on the field. Um, um, the reason why we're excited about the product that we uh, um, we see is because of the de- dedication. First of all, the leadership that, that we have on this football team. Um, uh, before, if you we sat down as a staff to try to find out who the true leaders were, and I mean, and there's different types of leaders. There's leaders that are vocal. There's leaders that uh, um, are guys that uh, you know, do everything right and don't say a thing. You know, Larry Warford's one of those guys. Uh, there's le- there's the guys that lead by the way they play. Um, so we, we feel like there's more of those type of guys, and whether it be a guy who's a vocal, a guy who, and we haven't had a vocal leader since. But is there a record? Year. I mean, is there, you know, is there, a, do you look at it and say, I need to win if six we, games? If we continue to get better, we'll, we'll be in, because we're five. We won five last year. If we yeah. just continue to get better every week, we'll, 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 we'll have ourselves in the bowl game. So. You, you won, you won five, but here, I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm going to be playing a little pessimist with you, and I just, because I think people want to hear because, your answer. Because you are. Well, maybe I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you won five, but then you had some games where you just weren't com- – not you, but the team was just not competitive. Well, I mean, they are a part of me, so it is. Yeah, South Carolina, for instance, right. 619 yards right. to 91. In years past, I hear fans say, we used to always be competitive in the last three or four years on nearly every game. But last year there were some games where we just weren't. How would you assess Well, that? it goes both ways. So, hey, we, we, we went six the, the year before. We were close in a lot of games. A lot of games. It does – did that matter? <laughs> to a lot of people, it doesn't. It yeah. doesn't. It doesn't matter. The, ma- the the fact of the matter, we we didn't win win yeah. enough to 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 have a winning season. That's the fact of the matter. Not how we lost or whatever. Okay, because the year before we lost close games to Auburn. Okay, yeah. we lost the game to Ole Miss that uh, we put the ball down. If you had beaten Ole Miss, and th- th- this th- this is three games, but I've I always use this stat. If you had beaten Ole Miss. Mississippi State and Tennessee, all winnable games. You're in the SEC championship game that year. So, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how we lost them. The pro- thing is, is how are we going to be uh, productive this year? And we're not going to be productive by worrying about what happened last year or the year before. Um, we got a talented team here, a talented team with 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 great leaders, leadership at the top of the class, and a lot of young, great, talented at the, at the in the bottom two classes that are dedicated, that are motivated, that are hungry to to have a successful season. This uh, the news came out a couple of weeks ago, of course, or about a week ago, of the season tickets and the twenty seven percent drop in season tickets. What was your reaction? I'm sure you, I mean you you knew about it before the news came out, but what's your reaction to that? Well, my my initial reaction is oh God bless those guys who 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 bought tickets. Okay, God I bless those 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 who bought tickets. I I, I that's who I, that's who who I want to give the praise to. Those guys who who uh, renewed their tickets, um, who uh, feel good enough about these kids who we've sold. These kids, hey, we got the best fans in the country. But do you? Uh, we have so we've got the best fans in the country. But do you believe that yes. when there's 27 percent yes, down? I do, I do. I have numerous calls of people today. It's financially, can't, hey, coach, I can't, I can't swing it this year. I get that. I yeah. get that. But those who have the means to, to, um, I suggest they go. Go well, for go, the twi- go all right. So tickets. for the 27 percent that didn't, 
do you understand where that let's let's not leave aside the economic part but do you understand where maybe their negativity comes from i mean that's that's their, that's that's their business their okay business. that's their business okay there's been some great moments on this field you, i'm sure you've rushed i've the been field. here yeah i've rushed you've it rushed I, rushed I still the have the scar yeah I, <laughs> you've rushed the field we've had two great moments in the last two years okay there's some more great moments to be um to be had with this this football team that we have here now I wouldn't want to miss it. If I'm a true Kentucky fan now, you wouldn't come want to on. Miss it. I wouldn't want to miss it. All right, it. let me give you the, the the back to the pessimist view. I'm 33 years old. Kentucky has not had a winning SEC record in conference play in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. Okay, in my lifetime. How can a Kentucky fan? How many great moments have you experienced? Great, the, great moments is a different question than a winning moments? SEC record. Hey, can Kentucky a fans? Lot of great moments. Can Kentucky fans ever think? You know what? We could have a winning record. In the no SEC. doubt. I don't want to be a part of this program if we don't have Kentucky fans that, that think. Do it. you believe? I don't want you. Dang, dang right, I have. You almost had me saying something that I didn't want. <laughs> you damn right, I have. You, you, you believe? Yes, we could make the because SEC title. Of how game. close we've been? Yeah. Because you just said it. You just said it. We'll fumble away from one game. We'll a couple fumbles away in another game. Um, we'll kick away from this. I mean, we, yeah, we have we have the talent level. We got to get the belief in in everybody that's associated with this program, and that includes the fans. Includes that includes the media. <laughs> it's, no, it's, the media who say they're with us, who grew up a Kentucky fan. You're talking about me. Yes. Do you think that? Hey, you hear me? You, that, mean, that means hey. Do you think the I'm not positive? Listen, I ain't saying you're not, but I'm saying, do you believe? Well, I'll be honest with you. That's a good question. I don't like. Hey, you know I'll what? I don't you. like the question. Hey, I'll be honest. With oh, no, I'm gonna you know, be, all mean, right. I'll stop saying I'll be honest. Sometimes you're not honest with me. I, I don't. It's hard for me. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll yep, stop so saying I'll be honest. I don't know what to believe from you now. Well, be honest with you, Joker. It's hard for me to, to be believe honest when with they you. don't. That goes that word again. <laughs> it goes that to be honest with you. It's hard and to believe when it hasn't happened in my lifetime. Don't let your fans hear. I wouldn't let my fans hear. To be honest with you, because they don't know what the hell to believe. Can you see where I would come from if I say it's never happened in my lifetime? So how? Can I say it's going to? Well, I mean, I believe. I believe. We, well, I, I like it. I'm glad I you believe. Because we, if you I don't, believe. then we're really in trouble. I need Do you, you to believe. All right. Well, listen. Hey, you know what? Cause I put I, I put a grand on it. Did you hear that? I put a grand on it. I put uh, Clay Travis. Do you know who Clay Travis is? No, I don't. He's a radio host in Nashville, Tennessee. Big Tennessee guy. Probably Kentucky's biggest attractor. He saw in Vegas, there's a, you know, the way they do in Vegas, lo- that he believes Kentucky will lose, uh, only win five or less. So he put a grand on Kentucky winning less than five games. So I said, if you're going to do that, I'll put a grand on them winning five or more. So I've got you. I got money where the mouth is. You know what? A grand is not belief. Why well, not two? <laughs> Well, I mean, listen, I don't make your salary. <laughs> I don't make your salary. Hey, I know all the hats you wear, too. Yeah, well, I do wear a lot of hats. <laughs> do you, when fans say sometimes, listen, it's tough in the SEC for Kentucky to recruit against the LSUs, the Alabamas, et cetera. So I hear fans often say, we need to have something different to sell. Do you agree with that? Like, you know how Oregon had the crazy uniforms and the style of play. Do you believe Kentucky needs some sort of, I don't want to use the word gimmicky, but a different thing to sell in order to compete against these major powers that are in our conference? No. I think we got plenty to sell here. We got we got plenty to sell. we got great institution here. we got great state that you and I have both – Born and born, born and raised, born, bred, and raised here. Um, we got great institution. I, I say that again. Uh, we got great fans, fan support. So no, we we got we got plenty of it. We don't need a Do gimmick. You, we, we've had a gimmick. We've had a gimmick. Okay, we've had a gimmick. Okay? But I don't the think thing we have to do is we have to have consistency in how we recruit. Yeah, we have to have consistency in how we evaluate. We have to have consistency in how we. Uh, develop players. We have to have consistency in how we discipline our players, and then we have to have consistency in what we are telling our players. Okay, what we're telling our players, I and mean, we we have that. We have that here. Okay, we, we're getting good, really good players here. We just got to continue to get more. Uh, we can win here. We can win here at, at Kentucky in football. Okay, don't get me wrong. In football, I don't want you to think in anything. We can win here in football. You have a recruiting class on campus. That I've had many people who know more about football than me say maybe one of the best that that have ever been at this school. I mean, in terms of, you know, SEC ready athletes. Before I get to part two of the question, do you agree with that? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. So, again, fans look and say, this, all right, I'm excited. Good class, maybe the best we've seen. 
Still 13th out of 14 in the SEC. Do those rankings matter at all? No. No. We have 40 guys that signed NFL contracts in the last five years. Okay. Um, I think there's a number of guys that's in this class that have NFL potential down the road. Depends on how they develop. Uh, the first thing you have to have, you have to have the size and speed for the position. we got guys that have size and speed for that position to have an opportunity. Now, how do we get them developed? Um I, Andre, I never, I never put stock on rankings. Yeah, I know. Okay, we 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 do a study every year after the NFL draft of how many of these four stars, how yeah. many of these five stars get drafted in the first round. It's very few of them. Okay, a lot of them go in expecting things. Mm-hmm. A lot of them come in with, you know, they work so hard to get to that ranking and go into all these camps and all these things, and and hadn't been evaluated by coaches. These guys have been evaluated by my coaches. We have seen every one of these players either practice or in camp. That's what I feel good about. Practice or in camp. I feel really – Mike Summers has been in a lot of places and put a lot of offensive linemen in the NFL that haven't been high, heavily recruited. Mm-hmm. Andre Woodson and Jeremy Jarman have both in the last couple of weeks on my show said there's more talent – on this team than there was on that 2017 team that people point to as the era. Do you agree with that? Yes, and you know it's hard. It's really, really hard to get young guys to say that that are just fresh out of the biz, out of the game. It is. You know how hard it is. They got so much pride about. It's easy for an old guy like me, <laughs> yeah. to, you know, but for them to say it about their team, yeah, you don't get especially this soon out of you know out of the game. Okay, those guys, that's five years ago. Yeah. You don't usually see a guy that says that, um, that's just that fresh out of the game because he doesn't want to admit. Yeah. His team, you know, but that, that's what we got here. I mean, we got here. Now, still haven't made a play this year. Okay, um, We still haven't won a game this year. We still got to go out and prepare to, to win those type of games. To what extent does what you do, and let's, again, you be honest with me on this. To what extent does what happens down the road? I will the, not say to be honest with you. Uh, thank okay? you. I will not say <laughs> to that. what extent does what happens at Louisville with Charlie Strong and that program, does it affect what you do at all? It's important for us to win that game. It's important for them to win that game. It is. Yes, it is. Okay. Especially this year. They it's really... important for them to win that game also um, because of the momentum you, we both take after after winning that game. Um in 2006, did we win that game? No. 2007, you did. Won eight. Yeah. Okay, we won eight. 2007, we had. Then we went on a four, a four year, um, uh, four four year st- streak, honey. But it's important, no doubt. But we're not. The season's not over if we don't. Okay, but it's important now. It's important that we can leave that with momentum. Uh, but even like, not even just that game. In terms of recruiting, you, there was a time that you guys loaded up on Louisville. And it's been a little more difficult. Do you think that's because of the rise of We've the- got a really good recruiting class going right now. Yes. Really good recruiting you, You're class. excited about it. And we won five games last year. Yeah. Okay? We won five games last year. Do you – give me some young guys that you've got uh, this year. I ask you this every year, and you, 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 you're you very good about picking them. Obviously, you should be the one or two guys that – you watch him and you go, you know what, he was right. Last year you told me Bud Dupree as a guy, watch this guy. Give me one or two guys this year that you well, said to watch this Well, this will be the last time I talk about those guys until they've, until they've yeah. made a play. Um, but um, Sweat, I think Sweat has a chance to, to be one of those receivers that we've had. Marcus Sweat, one of those guys that we've had that's come through here that nobody recruited. We had on campus, offered him a scholarship. He turns into a guy that catches 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns, Keenan Burton. Yeah. He turns into a guy that, you know, starts a quarterback. He's a freshman. He turns into a guy that, you know, is the all-purpose uh, leader in the SEC and becomes a second-round draft pick. And Randall Cobb, he's one of those guys that nobody wanted that we think has that same type of ability. Um Offensively, um, on the other positions, um, I really, really like these two running backs. Yeah, I know you do. I really, I really, really like. I like their attitude. I like their, their mentality. You seem so, to have some depth at that yeah, position. I, I mean, I he, really like the mentality of both of those guys. Um, and at linebacker, um, Khalid Henderson, uh, he has the desire, the dedication. I mean, he was one of those guys that every week. 
was calling, Coach, I, can I get into another? Somebody here so I can get in to watch film. I mean, that, that's that's what it takes. We haven't had that around, since Wesley Woodyard. Yeah. We haven't had that since Wesley Woodyard, a guy that walks in here and demands that type of respect that Khalid Henderson has. Talk to me about quarterback. Um, we, Andre was here earlier, talked about Max and Morgan. I noticed in the depth chart in the book it says Max Smith or Morgan Newton. Mm-hmm. I asked Andre, is one of them ahead? He said, well, maybe it's fair to say because of the spring, Max is slightly ahead. Mm-hmm. Where, where, where would I'll you agree say? With that. I'll agree with that. Uh, he took 100% of the reps in the spring. Um, he finished this, the season as the you know, the, the starter. You know, yeah. um, it was spent, fin- He was the last one of those guys to start, rather. Um but it's a hell. It's going to be a hell of a competition. I mean, it, it is. It's, it's like one guy has started sixteen games. Other guys started uh, three or four games. And um, Max got a hundred percent of the reps. Morgan's coming off an injury, and he has done nothing but work his tail off to get back so he get to a level where he can compete. And then there's two really talented freshmen. Well, two, everybody two, all over the really state really asked talented. me about the about Patrick Toll. Yeah. So, you as a coach, you're going to, I assume, put whoever's the best on the field. Do you think there's a chance that Patrick Tolles could come in, blow you away, and start that there's, first game? There's, there's no doubt about it that he or Jalen Whitlow has the talent level to, to go out there and compete and compete at a high level and have an opportunity to win the job. We have, they haven't practiced. Yeah. Okay. They, they uh, um, haven't made a play. Okay. They haven't moved the chains, not, not, not one inch. Okay. But. Talent level, yes. I think both those guys are very, very talented guys. When you uh, when you recruited Patrick Tolles, I mean, everybody in the state knows him, having watched mm-hmm. him all these years. Mm-hmm. What Andre said to me, he can be maybe the one of the best to ever play here. You think that's true? Yes, yes. He has he has the ability. Um, what separates a quarterback, in my opinion, is is a guy who has the ability to to make everybody else around him uh, better. You know. Um, there's only been three guys in this that I've I've seen in this program that you know that demand the type of respect you know when the yeah. first time they they've hit from campus. the moment they hit camp. Yes, who were they? Andre Woodson. Yep. Randall Cobb, and I saw it the other day at the Cornhole Tournament, and this guy here, he's not the leader of his football of of his uh, of his Cornhole team, and we had ten ten team ten person teams. But he was the leader of that 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 cornhole team. That's a, that's a pretty good I'm company. Just telling you, it, it was it was amazing. I mean, it was every coach saw it. Um, I'm hoping the players understood it. I mean, he's, he has that type of presence. Uh, but again, he hasn't made a play. Hasn't moved the chain not one inch yet. Last question. I know you got to go. We talk about this a lot on this show. The facility. This one of those. To be honest, there's no. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> you're killing me with it. To be honest, I'll get you back on that. I know you go. The facility question. Yeah. We talk a lot about it on the show, and I know you don't control that. Mm-hmm. Does Kentucky have what it needs? facility wise to compete in the sec and if not you know but to be, to be a top power and if not what do they need well we got great working facilities there's no doubt about it we've every year we've put we've done something to upgrade our facilities for our players that people do not see we that's why we allowed you guys to come in and see is, yes our facility it's amazing i had a a player, an ex-player, he finished in 05, come through the facility. He says, God, Coach, I can't believe it. Where was this when oh I was my here? God. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. Uh, and then, um, you know, one thing we do read is we read when you guys, you know, do interviews with recruits. Yeah. Okay, we have our recruiting office. They check it. They'll print it, put it on my desk. I want to hear from those guys. I want to hear how the visits went. I never hear people, hear kids say, and they got crappy facilities. They don't say that. So you so yes that you have what you need. We we, we have, oh, is there other things that we would like to have? Yes, yes. There's other things that everybody would like to have. Okay, but you know, but we we have to prioritize those, and we felt like, um, you know, the inner workings of our um, um, Nutter Center. We wanted to change the graphics. We wanted to make that uh, more of a wow factor, um, and, and we did. And it's it's been very positive this off season. Well, I, Joker, thank you very much for coming and seeing me. And let me tell you what you did do. Okay, I I believe I think you're going to go for you. We'll go get That's, get the wins to go to a bowl game. Listen, I put 
the money where my mouth is on that. You know nobody's pulling for you harder than we I'm are. I'm going to dinner we, you, at, with you. At, that's, you got you plus one, one, one thousand dollars. So once I win, I have yeah, to take I you think, to dinner? I think you need to put an, another, an extra thousand. <laughs> another thousand. To, to show how much, how much belief you really you know, do you're have. You're killing me. I think one thousand is, is, is You is cannot play. let a guy from tennis, Nashville, Tennessee, trump you. Okay. All right. Two thousand. <laughs> you you've, you've talked me into it. What am I going to do? Joker right. Phelps, thank you very All much. Right, good you. luck. We'll be it's talking to, to you. Thank you for taking right. the time.